Bonjour everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. To this video, I thought we could do a little shop my stash since there's been a lot of releases lately. I thought we could have a little break from all these releases that can be sometimes a little bit overwhelming. You know, I don't know about you, but for me, I tend to forget about the good stuff I already own and it's a shame. So I just wanted today to give them a little bit of a love just to rediscover them again and hopefully it will inspire you as well to shop your own stash and not just going for the next new release all the time it's just nice to have a little break here and there right and i like to do them actually once a month so if you do like shop my stash video don't hesitate to give this video a big thumbs up and i keep doing them and if you are new to my channel hi my name is paya and i hope you will enjoy this video you will enjoy my channel and if you do i hope you will consider subscribing before you leave don't forget shop my stash are the kind of video i do once a month so if it's your kind of video you are at the right place and with the right person <laughs> anyway without further ado let's just show you quickly what i've been shopping i think we're gonna have a good time with that shop my stash because i got a little bit too excited so it's a little bit overflowed but you know what we're just gonna have fun right so if you want to see that see all the product i have shopped my stash with you know what to do just keep on watching <laughs> All right, so let's just get started. Don't forget to grab your snack, grab your drink, grab something warm. It's a little bit rainy today, so I do apologize in advance if the light goes on and off. It's just because I'm filming in natural lighting. So it's very cloudy, it's gloomy and rainy. So I do apologize for that, but I hope the lighting is not too off and hopefully you will enjoy and have a good clear vision of all the products I'm gonna apply on my face today. But anyway, that was already too long <laughs> and I have a lot to go through today. So, so grab something to drink, have a little snack, get cozy, get relaxed, and let's just enjoy this little shop mustache together. Shall we? Cheers. All right, so first thing first, I'm gonna prime and actually I'm gonna double prime. And about the double, today is going to be a theme because I don't know what got into me, but I did double up on a lot of products. So I have a double primers, I have a double setting powder, I have a double bronzer, double blushes, even a trio lip combo, or maybe just one. We'll see at the end, but anyway. Today, I just wanted to double up on every single step of my makeup just because I got so overexcited with my shop mustache and it's been so long I haven't tried those products again. I was like, you know what? Why choosing? Why choosing between this good product and this good product? Let's just try them together, right? So that's what we're gonna do today. So first thing first, as I said, we're gonna double prime first. And I wanted to use again my beautiful Seattle London and it's the Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. I used to love this thing to death. Literally, I was using it all the time on mostly every single video I was making. It's just a great primer. As the name said, it's a hydrating primer. It's like a jelly formula. It smells duper super good. And what I love about this product is that it hydrates your skin. I do have a dehydrated skin, but also combo skin, and it does work really well on my skin. And it also grip my foundation, so it's gonna make my foundation last longer as well. And it gives me that nice natural glow from within as well because of the hydration it gives me. So that's why I love this primer so much. And yeah, so I stopped using it, but I don't even know why because it is such a good, good primer. And this is the type of primer for sure. When I will be running out of it, I will definitely buy in a new one because this is something I want to have it in my collection because it is that good and I can see the benefits of this primer as well. So as you can see, it really, look at that. It really hydrates your skin. It's also gonna grip your foundation and it's gonna make your makeup last longer. So that's why I really do love this hydrating primer, which is an amazing primer to try out if you haven't tried it yet. And next, I wanted to go with the NYX primer as well and it's the marshmallow primer and remember this thing it has marshmallow root extract as well and it has like so many claims it has this moussey formula as well moussey texture and it has pale pink color i love the smell of it as well it smells it smells it smells oh my goodness it smells marshmallow 
and I like to use it actually on the center of my face because it's gonna smooth my texture it's gonna also minimize the appearance of my fine lines and it's gonna blur my pores and it's gonna also grip the rest of my makeup oh my goodness this is my third coffee so I think I'm gonna stop with that one and I'm not gonna add any more coffee or caffeine into my system because I just couldn't talk anymore <laughs> I'm so sorry about that so I was saying it also helps your makeup to last longer and has so many also hydrating and skincare benefits. I can't really remember properly because it's been a while and it doesn't say anything on the packaging and I don't have the original boxes so I can't pretty much remember but I remember it was doing a lot of things for your skin as well and as you can see it does smooth a little bit and look at radiance but this is from the Seattle London primer so yes, yeah, so I wanted to use them as a combination. So I have a hydrating primer and also gonna have a smoothing primer as well. So really good one. And I, again, stopped using it. I don't know why. Yeah, so that's the primer done. Now I'm gonna just hydrate my lips with that mini lip balm from Pat McGrath. I can't remember the name of it, but it's their lip balm line, you know, and it's in a clear version. It looks like so. At the moment, actually, Pat McGrath is having a sale, an end of summer sale. I did treat myself a little bit. If you follow me on Instagram, you know already about that. I did pick up a few blushes that I wanted to try for quite some time, and this was the right opportunity for me to grab them. So it was on sale, so I was like, no, I'm not gonna miss that opportunity. Now we're gonna go for correctors, and this is my beloved Charlotte Tilbury corrector that I stopped using. I don't know why, but I definitely need some because since I had baby number three, I can tell you my under eye, my dark circle went crazy. And I just completely, not stopped using it, but I didn't really use it that much like I used to, which is a shame because this is one of my favorite corrector of life. I love that stuff so much and actually clearly have a dent into it. So this is something I will always have in my connection. So if I finish up, I will get a new one right away because it is that good. And it does cover your dark circle so nicely, so well. And I have the shade medium too. Now for my base. That's gonna be a Pat McGrath base today just because when I went on their website yesterday to treat myself, I was like, I completely forgot about the complexion product. And I was like, I have to give it a go again. And that's what inspired me that shop my stash today because I was like, it's crazy. We have such a great product in our own collection and we always go to the next foundation, next concealer, next powder, next anything really. And we tend to forget about what we already have. And I thought that's really a shame. At least I'm talking about myself. And I was like, no, no, no. Today we are doing a shop my stash and I'm gonna enjoy all over again this whole luxury experience and just apply good stuff on my face. So this is the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation and I have it in the shade Light Medium 14. As you can see, it is a liquidy formula, but I'm sure you know about that. And this is the kind of foundation I do it by section, by zone, because it does set by itself quite quickly so I'm gonna use a brush to blend this out and I love the finish of it so natural you know and has this beautiful coverage as well it's more like in the medium side coverage I wouldn't say it's full coverage though it's very lightweight and the coverage is very subtle but it really perfects your skin really look at that nothing Pat McGrath. It really does perfect your skin. It really even out your skin tone as well. So it's a beautiful foundation. And again, I tend to forget about it, which is a shame. Look at that glow. I can't get over this. Usually, one pump should be enough. But if you need more coverage, it is a little bit blendable. So you can add a little bit more product if you want to. Usually, I'm good with just one pump because then we're gonna have the concealer and everything, so it's gonna add a bit of coverage as well. And look at the skin. Isn't it beautiful? I mean, perfected. 
and still very natural still very skin like finish that's why this foundation is beautiful and I have to put it back into my routine so this is going to be a foundation I would be using for autumn and winter because it has also that hydration somehow just love it and now we're gonna go with the concealer which is the Pat McGrath again and it's their Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Concealer and I have it in the shade LM11 it looks like so but I'm sure you know already about it I'm gonna do a little bit this is quite full coverage LM11 is quite a good shade for me yeah I really like that it's cool nice and this is the magic happens here Ta -ta -ta -ta. look at that and I just use a little bit of product right so it's not like I used a lot dark circle covered with just a tiny bit of product it's so lightweight as well it has that natural Mm, matte finish I want to say but it's not dry at all I don't like dry concealer because of my dehydrated under eye as well and fine lines I want my concealer to be quite hydrating so I don't really like when it's too matte and this one is definitely not matte but it has that natural finish as well I'm just gonna add a little bit on my inner darkness here which is where I have the most darkness and even if you build up the coverage, it doesn't look cakey and it still looks very natural. I'm telling you, these complexion products are amazing. And not many people really do talk about them anymore, right? I don't really hear much of the complexion from Pat McGrath. Tell me if I'm wrong, right? But it's just, you know, again, we are always chasing the next product. We tend to forget what we have. And this duo here just give you the perfect base to start with. I just love it. Look at that under eye covered and still look very natural, hydrating and flawless, really. Love it. Then to set my under eye, we're staying with Pat McGrath, of course. And we're gonna be using the Skin Fetish Sublime perfection blurring powder something because now the writing has come off and I have it in the shade light and when I was on the Pat McGrath website actually it looks like so so pretty I wanted to get the medium size the one that is a little bit deeper because I found that powder I don't want to say it's not exceptional but I don't really reach out to that powder for a reason is because when I use it all over my face it tends to show my skin a little bit more in a grayish side and I don't like that so I found this one I can use it only on my under eye but when I use it on my t-zone and around my mouth it tend to become gray and I don't like it because I love the formulation it's very silky smooth it really does blur and it is a beautiful powder but the shade is a little bit off for the rest of my face it really does work only on my under eye not so much on the rest of my face so I wanted to try the the next shade but it was sold out so I couldn't get it which I was a little bit upset but you know so yeah it is a beautiful formula but it does blur your under eye and also it does perfect your base you know and make your concealer last longer as well but it just I can't really use it on the rest of my face it just make it gray so I tend to just stay here and not really here and I need to powder here as well because I do have as I said a combo skin so I need this side as well to be tackled so I'm gonna use a powder from MAC which is an oldie but a goodie and it's the mineralized skin finish and I have it in the shade medium this is the shade I wanted to have from the Pat McGrath but it was sold out and it's more like a skin like color you know it's not really white or transparent and I like that because it really does work well with my skin since I have a olive warm on the tone so when it's white strike like that it doesn't really work well for the rest of my face so I'm gonna change the brush I'm gonna use this one because I'm gonna apply it actually a little bit 
on my cheek too because I'm not gonna use any cream today I'm gonna stay with powder and I don't want my powder to stick to my base so I'm just gonna set a little bit and this powder is so good because it's very finely milled as well it's very lightweight and it does a great job of setting your complexion you don't feel it on the skin it's just a great great powder you see it doesn't take away the shine that you already have the glowiness the glow from within and yet it's gonna really set everything and it's a great powder for for that really for setting your face your complexion without making it flat without making it too matte it's just a beautiful powder again shame i'm not using it anymore so those products needs to be used and i need to show them more love definitely next for powder bronzer i have two here one matte one more luminous and i wanted actually to use that one from maybelline i used to rave about this product it's the city bronzer bronzer and contour powder that i have in the shade medium warm 250 and i wanted to use this one because it is a beautiful like a contour dimensional shade and that's why i wanted to use it for today so i can give some dimension to my cheek it is a bit powdery but it is a beautiful powder i used to rave about this one smells still very good and the shade is perfect for my skin tone and you see it's very very subtle but at the same time it's gonna really give me that dimension i want for my face without doing too much and it's not muddy it's not too cool tone it's quite neutral really and i love that it's like a matte finish powder but actually when you look at it properly you have a closer look of this powder it's not fully flat matte it has a bit of a sheen to it which really gives a little bit more of dimension and life to your cheek as well so it's not like giving you a flat complexion and you see i can keep on piling and it will be never too much there you go see i love that to really give you that definition here it's a beautiful contour bronzer powder from the drugstore and now to warm up my face i wanted to go to tarte and it's there Park Avenue Princess and it's such a beautiful bronzer as well and this has a luminous finish to it and it is waterproof, it is long lasting and it is very very pigmented so you have to be careful. I'm gonna take the extra here, I don't want any harsh line and this one again it is such a beautiful bronzer, it's gonna give me that tan, that all, that warmth I want to with that luminous finish it's just gonna be beautiful on the cheek and again not many people really do talk about this bronzer anymore you know it used to be a cult favorite of so many including me and then boom forgotten let it in the drawer <laughs> sleeping forever <laughs> again which is a shame mm. it doesn't have any smell because the packaging is so stunning and look at that again it's not too much it gives you the nice sheen you see the luminosity so it gives you that beautiful summer radiance to it but very in a very natural way you can apply it's never too much even if it's pigmented it blends like a dream there you go i mean that complexion today it's just to die for it's so perfected wow I'm telling you guys i hope this video will inspire you to just go to your own makeup collection and really have some shady brush here <laughs> and just enjoy what you already have because i'm sure you have gems and beautifulness and amazing product in your collection and i hope this is going to inspire you to use again the product you already have and for the blush we are going with nars and again a double step that step <laughs> with two blushes i wanted to go with actually a more neutral shade with madly which is a beautiful shade and it will go with the look as well you know but then i wanted to go more on my apple of the cheek with a more full 
autumnal vibes. So this one is Dolce Vita, I believe. Yes, Dolce Vita. So I thought I would combine these two instead of just choosing one over the other one. So that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna apply first Maggi, which is a beautiful, neutral, everyday shade all over my cheek, which is like more like a bronzy shade, you know? So it's just gonna amp a little bit more my bronze side and it is quite pigmented and you know NARS blushes are very very long lasting and they're quite pigmented so they're beautiful blushes there you go very a neutral color so if you are not into blushes because you don't like the colors don't want to be a little bit too overbroad with the color applying on your cheeks i feel like madly will be the best suit for you because it's so neutral it's so natural and it goes with any skin tone really so madly is a really good one to try out as well and then if you like colors if you like matching your cheek with the season you are in like now we are entering fall autumn so dolce vita is such a beautiful beautiful color it is quite pigmented so you have to be careful but I like to just concentrate the color on the apple of the cheek to make my cheek looks very flushed, very healthy looking, you know. And again, it's such a beautiful plum color and has a sheen to it as well. So it's not a flat color. It's going to give you some dimension to your cheek and it's going to make them look alive as well. I'm not forgetting also the nose, the bridge of my nose, because it really makes the look cohesive and together. You see how pigmented it is? And if you feel like it's a little bit too much, don't you worry, you can just go back with your powder brush or the bronzer brush if you want, just to reduce a bit the intensity of your blush. Or you can take your foundation brush to soften the edges so it's not too much look at this cheek they look so healthy seriously they look so healthy and then you can go back with your blush brush to really combine everything together and there you go I mean wow I really love this blush, the Dolce Vita. It's a little bit intense, so you have to be careful with it. You have to be light-handed. But if you go overboard sometimes, which I do most of the time, because I get a little bit too excited, I like to go back with my foundation brunch, brunch. I like to go with my foundation brush and just, you know, clean up the edges so it's not too overboard, you know, like so. nice right <laughs> I was going to add a little bit of highlight but a very natural way which comes from the Arglas palette the lighting palette is the number one the version one of it and I thought I can use it like a dust highlight all over my cheek but I don't really need any when you look at my cheek they are quite glowy on their own well on their own with the product we used before but I'm just gonna use a little bit and I'm gonna do like so I'm gonna use the three shades and I'm just gonna do it like so very lightly just to, I don't know, give a veil of highlight in a very natural way just to finish up the look I mean it's so subtle but at the same time it makes the whole difference you see Look at that. It makes it a little bit more intense, but in a really beautiful way. Beautiful palette. The version one is my favorite. It's the only one I have though, but the ambient lighting palette, those powders are just gorgeous. They are beautiful. They are very subtle and they just give you that extra radiance. It's just perfection. Now for the eyes, the fun part, we are going to revisit the Natasha Denona Biba palette. This is just everything. It's the perfect everyday 
kind of palette for me it has all my warmth but it has some neutral it has some cool tone as well shadows and you have some matte and you have some shimmer as well I mean, you have such a good mix of a neutral palette for an everyday look you can do a day eye look you can do a glam eye look you can do a night eye look you can do just anything and everything you want it's so versatile and at the same time it's just easy it's such an easy palette to use so we're gonna use this one today what i will do first i'm gonna prime my eyelid with my favorite eye primer and it is from mac and it's the pro Longwear pen pot in penterly and it's the one i always use when i do my eyeshadow it's just the perfect eye primer and it really makes all my shadows pop and last all day so it is a beautiful primer and I have it for ages and it did not dry out which is crazy it is still very creamy very pigmented and works like the first day just the perfect pen pot really because the quality is up there what I wanted to do with that eyeshadow palette is to go for a nice easy everyday eye look but at the same time quite full quite autumnal look as well but in a very easy way so that's what we're gonna do now so i'm just gonna go through that eye look i'm gonna leave you with a nice music and we're gonna talk right after the eye look Okay, so that's the eye look as it is, but we are not done yet, but I really like it so far. I said I was going to do an everyday easy look, but it turned out a little bit more smokier than I thought I was going to go for. But I really do like it. I feel like they all blended so nicely and the pigmentation is a rendezvous. It doesn't joke, it's just right there, right here. You really have to be light-handed with some of the shades, especially the darkest one. But they blend together so beautifully and I really, really like the, the color of it, the pigmentation. The formulation is just easy peasy. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm done with the eyeshadow palette, but 
I'm still gonna use an eyeliner and for that I will be using this one from Maybelline it's the tattoo liner smoky in the brown shade so it's a retractable liner I'm gonna tight line I'm gonna use it on my waterline and yeah it's pretty much it and then I'm gonna use a mascara which is also from Maybelline and it's the the colossal curl bounce yes i love that one so we are going with maybelline today the eyeliner and the mascara so i'm gonna do that as well oh no sorry <laughs> there's another maybelline here so this one this is something i used to love as well and it's the bro fast sculpt which is a gel mascara so this is going to be maybelline today and i'm gonna do that again with music so enjoy and we'll chat right after that Okay, so the brow lashes and eyeshadow are done. I just went a little bit heavier than what I wanted to, but I think the final look is quite nice. It's just the liner here doesn't really match together, but well, they're cousins, right? So they're not twins. <laughs> so that's the eye look here. Very chocolatey, very warm, very brown, very full vibes and does match my nails so yeah I got inspired by my nails though so that's why I went a little bit darker I think <laughs> okay so now for the lips I went for two direction and I wish you could help me right now but I have to make my decisions I wanted to go either for nude trio lip combo as per usual or I was going to go for just like a cinnamon brownish fall color so I'm not sure what to do really because the eyes are quite smoky and a bit heavy so I wonder if a pigmented color will be too much is the one from Fenty and it's the shade Freckles it's one of her lipstick not the matte lipstick Mademoiselle lipstick and this is the color here so this is Freckles I'm not sure or go in for the nude which is this three trio here with the lip liner from Pat McGrath in the shade Contour, the lipstick from Huda Beauty and it's the matte lipstick in Board Meeting, which is a nude, I'm gonna right here, which is a neutral nude with the pink undertone, I feel like, and with the gloss from Pat McGrath, which is Faux Fur, right? Faux Fur? For real, <laughs> for fur. For real, from the last gloss. So here, the shade, the swatch, I mean. That's the swatch from the lip gloss. So I don't know what to do really. Going nude or going brown. So his contour, I'm gonna also just swatch it. So that's the trio here I wanted to do. Or going for the fall vibes. <sighs> I don't know. With the eye look, I'm, I'm afraid it will be too much, you know, too much with the eye look. A brown and a chocolatey like that. Ah, oh, I don't know. I wish you could help me. Brown or nude, brown or nude, brown or nude. I think I'm going to go with Mademoiselle. Let's try. If it doesn't go well, I'll take it off. It's quite pigmented. It has that matte finish. Yeah, it is pigmented and it is like a brown but orangey pumpkin, that's the word, pumpkin. It's more like a pumpkin color, 
so it's a little bit off yeah no i don't like it it's a little bit off with my eye look and my overall look i mean i do have some flush on the cheek some brown on the eyes so if i add a cinnamon ginger pumpkin shade on the lips is going to be too much i'm gonna take this off at least i tried oh boy it is long lasting let me take this off so this is not the right for today but i'm glad i tried it so at least we know it doesn't go together so now i'm gonna do the lip liner my battery is flashing again i just talk too much guys i'm gonna use the lipstick the Ida Beauty. it's a brown nude shade I use my finger to blend out any harsh lines okay and now the lip gloss I'm just gonna do the whole magic mm. oh yeah still very nude but those lip gloss that are so balmy it's crazy it smells so good as well so that's very nudish but at the same time it has some brown to it so it's really nice with the overall look now for the last step but not the least it's going to be the setting spray and look at this the urban decay all night on makeup setting spray that i haven't used for ages i was like i need to use it today so that's what we're gonna do I forgot how the spray actually is quite good and intense but still good in a good way you know and there you go guys that's the final makeup look with the shop mustache edition all those products that i have forgotten about and i just wanted to give them some love to show them some love and oh boy that they were really good i'm just so happy I just rediscovered some of those products. The complexion products are just top-notch chef kiss. The trio Pat McGrath really made the skin look so good, but also the primer, it's really hydrated and perfected and blur my skin. I loved all the products and I'm so happy I rediscovered really good gems that were hiding into my collection. So I hope you will do the same. I hope I inspired you to shop your own stash. And also the eyeshadow palette was amazing. I completely forgot how Natasha Dedona has really good eyeshadow formula this one is such a great everyday that you can take from a very light eye look to a very deep dramatic eye look i want to say <laughs> today i went a little bit overboard in a way that it's more dramatic that i wanted to but nevertheless i really do like the finish look i like the overall makeup as well i love the bronziness i love the fall the cheeky full flush cheeks as well i love the lip combo too i mean everything was just a hit for me and i hope you did enjoy this video i hope you found it entertaining you found it nice and pleasant to watch as well and if it's the case don't hesitate to give me a big thumbs up it does help my channel to grow and if you are new to my channel i hope you will consider subscribing before you leave i would love to have you and to see you again in my next video thank you again so much for spending this time with me and watching this video it does mean a lot to me and i cannot wait to see you in my next video until then stay beautiful Mwah. bye